In this video, we will be checking the oil in this 2011 Chevy Traverse through the driver's side door. We want to locate the hood release latch. And after releasing our secondary safety latch, we can gain access to the engine bay. Taking a look at the engine bay, we need to locate the oil dip stick. This is a little bit difficult to find if you are looking at the engine. It is on the passenger side towards the front down inside the engine a little bit. If we take a little bit more direct view on top of the engine, we can clearly see a yellow ring down inside the engine. This is the oil dipstick. To check the oil, I first want to have a rag. I'm going to withdraw the dipstick and using the rag, clean off the dipstick. I'm then going to reinstall the dipstick and then again withdraw the dipstick and take my reading. On our dipstick, we have a hatch pattern towards the top and we have a hatch pattern towards the bottom. We want our oil level to fall between those hatch patterns. If the oil level is on these hatch patterns, this is a warning area. It could mean that you have slightly overfilled the oil if it is in our top hatch pattern or that we are slightly low on oil if it is in the lower hatch pattern. If it is below the lowest hatch pattern, that is a severe warning sign and we need to add a little bit of oil. The amount of oil between the lower hatch pattern and the upper hatch pattern is the equivalent of about one quart of oil. If we did need to fill our oil, perhaps we were a little bit low, we want to locate the oil fill cap, which is located nearby our oil dipstick. This will be marked with SAE 5W30 and have a little picture of an oil can. This is the location that we need to add oil. You can remove the oil fill cap by turning counterclockwise and wiggling it off and then install a funnel. I would recommend adding a small amount of oil and then checking the dipstick to see if that has raised your level to where you need to be and continue with that procedure until you get to the full level. Then we can remove that funnel and reinstall that oil fill cap. At this point, this repair is complete.